This is the Akiga interface. Uh, I normally keep it on the dial pad. I say normally, I haven't used this a lot, but when I have used it, it's performed very well once I got the configuration set up properly. There is a contact list and also a call history. In the view settings, you can select a various options as to what you want to see and how you want it uh, set up. To call a phone number, you enter it in the top and it gives you a choice of calling the number at ikiga.net or at diamond, in this case diamond card. Diamond card is the provider I use to enable me to call regular telephone numbers using Ikiga. Uh, they do charge for it. The charges are extremely reasonable and I have also noticed that uh, they are extremely meticulous in maintaining your account information and do not seem to have any hidden charges at all. Once I have the number typed in, I select and dial. It's going to connect and then it's going to hang up. Then it will call me back. And when it calls me back, it tells me, and there's the call, I accept it. And at this point, the voice on the other end is explaining to me what the echo test is and how it works. You won't be able to hear it because my recorder is capturing the input from the microphone and I haven't found a setting where I can have it capture the input both from the microphone and from the big wide world. And also the echo test isn't working for me because again my input is being captured by my recording program and it's not being sent out into the big wide world. Uh, the other echo test number as you see up here is 500 at ikiga.net. If you call that, you go right into the echo test without a call back. When I was testing this, uh, I would call 500 to make sure I could get out. And once I was confident I could get out, I would then call 520 to make sure that not only could I get out, but that other people could get in. 